Okay, so here's a little tutorial on chords. Learning your chords is essential for all sorts of playing, whether you're playing from music notation or whether you're playing by ear, uh, both of which are equally valid and very necessary ways to learn how to play. So we're going to look at learning your 12 major chords. So first of all, the concept of the circle of fifths is a thing that we will introduce. There's a picture of it here. And essentially what we have is the 12 notes. There are only 12 notes on a keyboard. Mm -hmm. so that they are a fifth away from each other, going up, so from C to G is five notes, one, two, three, four, five. From G to D is five notes, one, two, three, four, five, and so on. So that is a thing. We're going to come back to that. If we look at this version of the circle of fifths, now here we've got little family groups. So we're going to look at this first. When we're learning our major chords, they fall into groups that are all built the same way. They all look the same way. First of all, I suppose it's worth saying that every major chord in what's called root position is in every other note shape. So let me just show you on the keyboard. Uh, that is what I would call an every other note shape. It's just missing out a note. That is not an every other note shape because that's okay, but here we've got a big gap. So when I say an every other note shape, I mean three notes arranged like that. That's what's called a root position triad. And every major chord begins life as that shape, but then some of the notes will become black notes. Yeah, they'll either be flattened, like uh, here. We flatten that one. So it started life as that, but we've lowered it to make the chord. Or they might be sharpened. So for instance, this one here has a, a raised note to the middle. So these notes are combinations of black notes and these chords are combinations of black notes and white notes. If we come back to our diagram you can see now that we've got a little family of chords that are made of just three white notes. We've got a family of chords here that are made of a white note, a black note and a white note. Over here we've got a family of chords black, white, black and then we've got three odd ones out. So this is one way to start getting your hands around the chords. The first family is the three white chords, C, F and G. Yeah. So think of the middle chord in the group as number one. And then if we go up four steps, we get to there. And if we go a step further, we get to there. So here we've got, if we build a chord, we've got chord one. And then we've got four on the left and five on the right. And chords one, four and five make their own little pattern, which is, we call them the primary chords because they crop up so often. La 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 la, bam, bam, etc. So there is one, four, five, one, four, five, just made out of white notes. So learn those three to begin with, and you can do them with your left hand. You could even do them with both hands together. So, now, family number two. These notes have a black note in the middle. So, uh, again, we've got three chords. Number one, in the middle, is chord one. And then on the left is chord four, on the right is chord five. So A, one, two, three, four, and five. So one, four, five. So chord one, white, black, white. So it's every other note shape and we make it a black note. There it is, that's A major, that chord, A major. D major is the same, it's white, black, white. E major is the same, it's white, black, white. So there's La Bamba again. A, D, E. So that's family number two. We're going to stop and then we'll come back for family number three.